What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Five Wars Deke. And take a look at this. We are atop the AFC. We control our own destiny through the rest of this season. Play 10 games. We're seven and three, six games left. We don't have to win out. We do not have to win out, but we do control our own destiny and winning out would be awesome. I mean, that'd be awesome. Today, we're playing a Super Bowl rematch. We are playing the Atlanta Falcons. These teams met in the Super Bowl last year. The Chiefs, of course, won that game, but both teams look pretty different. I'll explain why when we kick off. So Michael Vick is no longer the quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. He is gone. Shane Brown is the signal caller for the Falcons. He is a third-year man out of the University of Tennessee. He is a VFL. 13 touchdowns, 13 interceptions this year as that pass is incomplete. Pretty young team. Only names you are going to recognize. Jarius Norwood, the running back, and Ovi Mahaley, the fullback. Everybody else is new. Here's a give to Norwood, and he only gets maybe a yard. We're going to have rain throughout this game, I believe. So I don't expect a lot of passes. So getting behind the sticks ain't going to be good for you. Brown is sacked on third down. Now, even though Michael Vick is gone, the Falcons are still having a good season. They are battling the Saints for first place in the NFC South. So don't think that just because Michael Vick is no longer their former MVP um, that they're not going to be any good today. They're still a good team. That's what the numbers say, at least. Shane Brown isn't Michael Vick. He does not run. He, d he has no speed at all. The man rocking cornrows. He a brother with cornrows with no speed. I ain't never seen that. Uh, but he does have a rocket arm. He's got like 94 throw power, 96 accuracy, something crazy like that. So I expect something from him through the air. That's a first down, Darrell Irvin. As a reminder, we are on the road to 2K subs. If we can get to 2K by the end of the season, that includes the postseason, we will be doing another Shirzy giveaway. And lastly, I did pick up the new Jedi Survivor game. So I'm excited to, uh, well, I've already started playing it, to be honest, and hopefully I can record a little bit of gameplay. Um, just a little less play. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna do a whole walkthrough or nothing. Just a little less play. We can have some fun with that. Randolph, shy of the first down. First and 10 at the 20, give to Norwood. A gain of about two. Another give to Norwood, and Solomon fumbles! It's a fumble! It is! Who's got it? Ovi Mahaley recovers. Solomon Daniels. Solomon making his presence felt early. Third and seven for the Falcons after the recovery by Ovi Mahaley. Don't give it to Norwood. Norwood hurting, and they toss to Norwood, and Solomon gets pushed down. He jumps over, but does not get the first down. First and 10 Falcons after a three and out. Give to Norwood, making a juke, and Solomon brings him down. Daniels is coming off that career high, eight tackles last week against the Broncos. Tied a career high. Have to go back to his rookie season the last time Solomon had that many tackles in a game. Give to Norwood again. Like I said, I expect a lot of runs today. Brown throws, caught Lincoln, first down Falcons. Start of the second quarter. Lincoln is the new number one receiver for the Falcons. He's a first round pick out of Northern Iowa. How many Northern Iowa players do you know in the NFL? Here's a give to Norwood, and Norwood gets a yard, maybe. Brown on third down, throwing. It is almost intercepted by Solomon Daniels. Nearing the two-minute warning. Offense just had to punt. Falcons have it at their own 10. Don't go passing. Don't pass now. Uh-oh. Norwood in motion. Who's got him? Who's got him? They give to Mahaley. Ovi Mahaley taking it near the 15. Brown throwing to the outside. Has a man, and Solomon gets the tackle. He dove. He gets credited for the tackle, but it's a first down. And they're going to go no huddle. 
Switching some things up. Brown. Looking. Throws to the outside. Almost picked. Brown. Throwing up top. It is caught by Johnson. First down across midfield. And they're going to stay with this no huddle here. Running up to the line. 90 seconds to go. Throwing quickly has Johnson again. We might need a timeout. Yeah, we might need a timeout. That's another first down. We might need to regroup. Yep, let me call timeout. This drive started at their own 10. And now they've got it at the Kansas City 22. First and 10, 115 to go in the half. Shane Brown hit by Solomon and almost caught. The pass falls incomplete. Giving the Norwood. That's going to bring up third and long. And they're going to go with the no huddle for third and long. Yep, everybody shift over. Everybody shift over. Know your assignment. Know your assignment. Timeout. 60 seconds left in the half. Chiefs will begin the second half with the football. Falcons look like they're running. And now Norwood is in motion. Brown throwing. Has his man fuller, and he's tackled shy of the line to gain. 33-yard field goal attempt for Atlanta is good. All right, look, y'all. I know it's raining. I know it's raining, but we're going to have to go deep. We got to pass. You can't just sit back and run the ball all day. Randolph, pump fakes, throws deep. It is caught, and it's a first down, and they're going to review it. The original angle, there was no way to tell what happened, but that's one. Oh, second foot's out of bounds. Yep. Dang, bro, just get your next foot in. Oh, yeah, you out. All right, so now it's third down after the refs reverse their decision on the catch. And here's Randolph avoiding the sack, going for everything incomplete. A shank punt here would just be a disaster. A shank punt here would be a disaster. And that's exactly what you do. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. It went out of bounds at the 26. Fakes the give to Norwood. Solomon bit on it, and it's incomplete. And the give is to Norwood for real this time, and he got a yard. Brown. Throwing. It is incomplete. Solomon was there, ready to make a play. Basically got a three and out. But because of the punt, the Falcons didn't have to gain any yards here. And the 42-yard field goal attempt is good. 6-0 is our score at halftime. This was a pretty evenly matched first half. Pretty evenly matched. The difference in this contest is the Falcons had one good drive and we had a shank punt. That is what separates these two teams right now. 6-0 our score. It's our ball first. Offense went three and out. So we are back on the field. Man in motion is the tight end. Give us to Norwood. Norwood going backwards. Third down. Brown. Throwing, caught, Taylor, the tight end, and he drags for first down. Third year tight end out of Arizona, converting that third down for the Falcons. Here's a give to Norwood. Norwood can't go anywhere. Brown, throwing. Oh, Solomon had a run on it, but couldn't get the interception. It's another first down. We've seen Solomon make that play before. Tried to go for it again. Got a pick six off of that. And that is caught, and it's another tackle for Solomon Daniels. Half of Solomon's tackles have been like, I bumped into the guy. Like, that's been half of the tackles. 
just kind of bumping into somebody or just getting a hand on them. Brown throwing to the outside, almost picked. Throwing incomplete on third down. Travis Collier, two for two today, connected from 42. This is from 45. For a two possession lead in Kansas City on a rainy day, it is no good. Start of the fourth quarter, offense did nothing after the missed field goal. You ain't missed nothing. You've missed no action. Ball is at midfield for the Falcons after another three and out by the offense. We have no points, and we need a turnover. We need to get a turnover at some point. Norwood getting flipped over. Norwood, the ball carrier. We need some kind of points here. Tossing to Norwood. Norwood tackled by Solomon Daniels. Brown to throw. Nope, he gives to Norwood. Solomon gets the ball out, and once again, Ovi Mahaley recovers, and it's a first down Falcons. What else does Solomon Daniels have to do, bro? What else does this man have to do? Look at this. Another force fumble. That's his second of the contest. And where are y'all? Where are y'all at? How are there four red jerseys, and none of y'all pick the ball up? Four of y'all. Opportunity yard. after opportunity to get the ball back. And that's what y'all do. That's ridiculous. Oh, it's a direct snap to Sanderson, and he's close to a first down. Give it to Norwood. Norwood has the first. Yeah, this game is personal for the Falcons, man. Even though they don't have Michael Vick, you can tell they really wanted to come to Kansas City and get revenge for what happened in Super Bowl 46. You could tell. They hate the fact that they lost that game. Norwood fumbled! We got it! We got it! That is justice! That is justice! All you need is one touchdown. That's it. One touchdown. Stop running the ball. Stop doing that. This was the same issue last week. You are three for 10 on third down. Stop running the ball. Come on, Randolph. Avoid that blitz. Oh, come on now. All right, defense, it's on us again. It's on us again. We need three stops. We do have the two-minute warning. To Norwood. Norwood gained maybe a yard. Give to Norwood. And that's close to a first down. Desperately need a stop here. Desperately need a stop here. Show blitz, because we're coming. We need a stop. Give to Norwood, and Solomon gets the tackle. It's fourth down. We are out of timeouts, so all we have is the two-minute warning. 2.38 to play. Come on, touchback, 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 touchback. Oh, that's a good punt. We have done everything possible as a defense. It is on you. Dwayne Bow first down. Everything we could possibly have done on defense has been done, fellas. Come on. We've done everything we could. That's caught. Come on now. Approaching the two-minute warning. Ball at our own 34. Got to drive this thing 60-plus yards. Randolph. Come on, Randolph. Be smart now. Be smart now. And he gets sacked. Two-minute warning, fourth and five. This is it. Undefeated home record on the line. First place in the AFC on the line. Randolph throwing. Caught! Dwayne Bow! He's got speed! Who can catch him? Can they catch him? No, they can't! Touchdown, Kansas City! Randolph to Dwayne Bow! 
And now it's up to Melvin McGuire. He's missed PATs this season, but today he's good. And that kickoff's going out of bounds. Ball at the 40. It's about the 30-yard line. We're looking at about the 30-yard line. That's the line that the Falcons are trying to get to. The Kansas City 30. Brown throwing. It is caught Fuller. And that's across the 45. They'll go with the no huddle. Solomon changing the play. Giving the instructions to the defense. Throwing outside. Finds Lincoln. First down Atlanta. Now, we can't call timeout and, and try to reset. We can't do that. That's not going to happen. Here comes Solomon trying to blitz Brown, and that should have been intercepted by Pearson. Falcons getting close to field goal range here. They do have all three timeouts. Brown throwing to Norwood on the screen, and he lost yards. Brown on third down, throws to Johnson. Johnson is inside the 35, it's fourth down. Do they kick it now or do they go for it? They're gonna kick it now. All right, so we are guaranteed to get the ball back. Whatever happens on this field goal, we are guaranteed to get it back. This is a 52 yard field goal. We can't ice them, we have no timeouts. They're probably gonna run this clock all the way down to about 30 seconds and then kick it. He's made it from 42, missed from 45. Not a lot of wind today, but it's been raining all day. Come on now. Come on now. And the kick is up. And it is. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. That's no good. Oh, he made it. All the players were running to the left as if he was missing. It looked like he was going to miss. Oh, man. See, this which, the, the kick went out of bounds. That's what happens. And they squib it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Come on, Sergio. Come on, Sergio. Come on, Sergio. So we do have the ball back. Field goal wins it, touchdown wins it. But we have no timeouts. Randolph, game is on you. It's caught. You gotta hurry up, you gotta hurry up, you gotta hurry up. Come on. 20 and counting. Down to the teens. This might be a fake spike. Yep, sure is. Sure is a fake spike. Get rid of the ball, man. Going for it all. Randolph to the end zone. Incomplete. I think we've got one last, one last try at this. This is it. This is it. One last try. And Randolph incomplete. All right, one more. We get one more. Three for 12 on third down. The Falcons were five for 14. Both defenses have played good football today. I'll give them that. And that's the play we go with? Are you kidding me? That's how we lose. Because you went with that? You got to be kidding me, bro. I'm not mad at the offense, man. I'm not mad at the offense, and I ain't mad at the defense. This is special teams. This is special teams. Everybody boo Justin Watson. You are six foot six, 242 pounds, and couldn't even play wide receiver. He must not have been that good at basketball either. So you decided to be a punter, and you can't even do that. Your net average was 21 yards. That was your net. You had multiple kickoffs go out of bounds. You had multiple shanks. You punted seven times today, and your average was 21 yards, bro. What was your longest punt today? We about to find out. Ain't no, ain't no hiding from it now. Ain't no hiding from it. Oh, they don't tell me? Yeah, one inside the 20, two touchbacks. Your longest was 57. All right, you got away with that. Get away with it there, but dog. Team takes the lead on a miracle touchdown, and your first instinct is, let me kick this out of bounds. That's your first instinct? Just kicking it out of bounds. I even changed the sliders so you wouldn't do this, and you still did it. I can promise you right now, 
There is nobody, not even your mother, wearing a number six Chiefs jersey. Anybody seen with that jersey getting jumped in the parking lot. So your dad and your brother had to take days off. They had to take their Justin Watson jerseys off because they're ashamed to be in your bloodline. Been saying it all season. I've said it all season. We have to win games in spite of special teams. And we almost did today. It caught up to us. It caught up to, bro, Randolph did not throw an interception. Randolph didn't get picked off. Shut fumbled, but we recovered it. We protected the football, even with all the three and outs. Even with all of the three and outs, we protected the football. No pick sixes. And the Atlanta Falcons beat us with three field goals. Three field goals. Two of them off the backs of special teams mistakes. Shank punt leads to a field goal. Kickoff goes out of bounds. Game winning field goal. And that's how we lose our first game at home. We're seven and four. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I've changed it so the AI wouldn't do this. I've changed it. Like I, I did what I could to make sure the AI wouldn't, it still does it guys. Still does it. Because players are gonna play true to ratings. This is what happens when you have players playing true to themselves. That's who Justin Watson is. If Melvin, if Melvin McGuire misses a PAT, it's because that's who he is. That's who they are. So even though Solomon Daniels had seven tackles, three Yayerts, two of them were forced fumbles, and we did not allow a touchdown today, even with all of that, we lose a game at home because special teams puts us in bad positions. Now, we could have played good football. We could have done that. That is something we will take responsibility for. We could have played good football after the kickoff went out of bounds and we did it. All right, I could rant for maybe an hour. I could, I could talk about special teams throughout this whole series. We have seen it um, with punters and kickers alike throughout this series. It is what it is. Next week, we have another test. Again, I said this is the toughest part of the schedule. Chargers, Broncos, Falcons, and next week, the Ravens in Baltimore. In Baltimore. And the Ravens they just lost to the Cowboys. They just lost a big game on Thanksgiving to the Cowboys a few days ago. So they're on some extra days of rest and they're upset just like we are. We're both upset. We both mad. We both trying to be first seed in the AFC, both of us. So next week's game has playoff implications. We both might make the playoffs, but one of us will get a first round bye. The other one probably won't. So it's a big game. Until then, it is your boy Five Wars Deep. One love.